Thank you, Gilles. Uh, so the thank you first for inviting me in this uh, final roundtable. Um, so the idea is to, to give some, some views about how to improve the existing arrangements on information and public participation in the field of radioactive waste management. And to do that, um, I thought it's maybe a, a good idea for me to, to look back at the, at the CITEX initiative and to, um, to try to see what is uh, what that initiative bring, um, brought to me. Uh, and um, so I will try to do that in, in three slides. Um, so first of all, what was my, my general feeling at the start of the CITEX initiative? Uh, and I think it was also the feeling of, uh, of several of my TSO colleagues. Um, so we, we asked us to, to, to have some dialogues with the civil society within the CITEX project. It was really a first project for me. And, and I thought, oh, on what should I exchange with civil society? They are not experts and they will not understand me. And um, also, such, I thought such, such exchanges will be quite time consuming and, and will not change my work and safety evaluation. So, so what is the added value? Uh, also, uh, I thought that at the end, it's the regulatory body who will assess the safety and not the civil society. So, so why should I take some time for exchange with them? But I was interested and, and let's say it, it was worth to, to try. And, um, and then I, I think it's also useful to, to give some, oh, I, I felt also the, some reactions from the civil society at the, at the beginning when we have had some exchanges during the first CITEX project with, with civil society organization, we, we heard some message like, if I start discussing with TSOs, then I may give the impression that I endorse all the ongoing project, that I accept waste disposal, that I accept everything. And uh, we heard also, I, I do not want that TSO use that dialogue, use us uh, to then say they project are agreed with civil society. So it was interesting because uh, there were really some 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 fears on the both sides that it's that this may not be really useful or, or that uh, there are some there's some some dangers in, in discussing with the with the other part. So I, I think it was a global feeling at the beginning of the CITEX project. We, we felt there was something to do, but we had some fears about that. And now I would like to say what is now the perception that at the end of uh, of the CITEX project and, and at the uh, I would say that the current per perception, because we, we have now built a network, so uh, it was successful, let's say, um, about on what should that exchange with civil society. We, we found it's possible to exchange about the RD results and their possible implication for safety. We found it's really possible to discuss even technically with some of their uh, experts. And it's also possible to exchange about safety assessment results. We can present that, we can discuss that together. Uh, explain why we think uh, something is safe. Um, and we can also discuss about possible safety concerns. Uh, that's, for example, what, what we did when we have built the, the CITEX strategic research agenda during the CITEX2 project. And we found that such exchanges, we thought that such exchanges will be time consuming, as I say, and maybe without any added value. I can say that uh, I have now a complete different view. And I know a lot of my colleagues have, have the same view now. It changed a lot of work. And it helps, in, fa in fact, to really to step back and to look at safety issues with more perspective, because you are obliged to, to explain uh, what, what you do. And, and then you are obliged to explain this in, sometimes in, in basic terms. And it forces you to, 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 to put the things in perspective and to, 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 seem, to think more, uh, more, sometimes more carefully and more, more, more deeply about, uh, about your, your job and your, your, your safety positions. So it may give uh, new ideas and a new point of view. And so I think the perception now for me and for my colleagues is that uh, it's something really useful that, that is an added value. Concerning the points, at the end, it is the regulatory body will assess the safety and not the civil society organization. So why should that take some time for exchanging with, for exchanging, sorry, with them? I think I can say that no, the perception is the following. This allows to develop confidence, trust between the actors. And it's really necessary to have such, uh, such trust. And we did not lose our independence of, of mission. I mean, we are still able to, to perform our task as TSO, supporting the regulatory body. It's not because we, are, we have a dialogue with the civil society that, that we, we are no more TSO. 
uh, yes, yeah, something important is that we are not forced to agree. And <laughs> it's maybe, uh, how to say that, uh, evident. But at the beginning, I think it was one of the uh, biggest fear. It, it was that maybe we, have, we are forced to agree together. And I think we have discovered that it's also very important to just to dialogue, to exchange, because um, it allows to understand the position of the of the civil society or of the TSO. And if, if we have that exchange, if we understand the position of the others, then, then we are able to put the work in, in perspective. And so we are not always forced to, to agree, to, to have a consensus, but at least we are able to understand each other. And, and it's uh, something I think really important to, uh, to increase the safety and to, to enrich our work. Uh, why I say that, that building trust can increase the safety? <coughs> also because if we have such, as I said, such, such um, uh, understanding of each other, then, then we have a kind of plural dimension with different point of views and, and it's important for safety to have different point of view. If you work only in a, with, with colleagues that they have the same meaning of you, the same perception as you, uh, then it's not good for the safety, I think. And also because if you build trust, um, then I think you will more quickly evolve toward what you could call, a, and we call that safe terminus in Zytex, so a safe solution. You will quickly evolve towards a safe solution uh, and in, more, in a more sustainable way. If you do not have that trust, you will build something and, and then everything will stop because there is no um, uh, confidence, no trust, and then you have a safety issue because you have no more solution. So you can see that those high tech projects have uh, changed my mind and, and that of, of several of my colleagues. So what are some my recommendations for, for improving uh, again, um, the, uh, this and this, this link between TSOs and, and civil society. So globally, it's in the positive return of experience, I think we should continue to develop and, and strengthen these dialogues and interaction in future project. And that's why we are trying to do uh, within URAT, for example. I think the CSO participation should not be limited to a passive review of daily variables, so information or just, yeah, uh, to be more than that. Uh, also, they, they should not, uh, we should not limit the, uh, the participation of CSO to the attendance of some meeting where we disseminate some results. It's, it's not that, we have to, to go beyond that. It should consist, I think, in, in active and constructive dialogues uh, among others about the, the meaning of project results and the different kinds of factors do not necessarily need to find a common meaning, a common position. But as I said, at least they should understand what the different meaning position are. And that's what is very enriching, I think, for, for the safety. Um, the R&D project could just, I think, be more systematically, systematically completed with um, specific tasks aiming at changing with CSO so civil society organization about the meaning of the results of the project and considering the point of view of uh, civil society organizations. I think it's really a way to strengthen the, the safety and it's, uh, um, it's in line with the Iris Convention. And I think that as I, I presented during my presentation yesterday, I think Citex Network can, can help to do that and it is developed really in, in that vision. Thanks, that was what I would like to share with you today.